CPR, cardiopulmonary resuscitation, adult. Cardiac arrest is when the heart stops pumping blood. A victim of cardiac arrest, when the heart stops beating, needs immediate CPR. Chest compressions are one of the most important aspects of CPR. Doing this, you pump blood to the brain and the heart. Learn how to recognize cardiac arrest. Learn how to call for help once you discover a victim is in cardiac arrest. Learn how to open the airway and give rescue breaths. Learn how to do adequate chest compressions. Learn how to relieve an airway obstruction. Hazard. Make sure the scene is safe for you and the victim. Make sure the victim is lying on his or her back on a hard surface. Hello. Check for response, signs of life. Hello. Hello. Call for help. Call 999. Give the following information. Victim is unresponsive. CPR is in progress. Your name and surname. Your exact location and telephone number. Airway. Open the airway by tilting the victim's head back using one hand on the forehead. Lift the chin by putting your fingers on the bony part of the chin. Lift the chin to move the jaw forward. Look, listen and feel for breathing by putting your ear as close as possible to the victim's mouth and nose. Look, chest rise. Listen, breathing. Remember that gasping is not breathing. Feel, air flow against your cheek. Breathing. If there is no normal breathing, pinch the nose closed and give two breaths into the victim's mouth. Make sure that you see the chest rise. Remove clothes from chest that will interfere with pushing on the chest. Circulation. Ensure that the victim is lying on his or her back on a hard surface. Position yourself properly on your knees next to the victim's chest. Place the heel of your strong hand on the center of the sternum in the center of the chest between the nipples. Place the heel of the other hand on top of the first so that the hands overlap and are parallel. Straighten your arms with your shoulders directly above the victim's chest and keep your elbows straight. Interlock your fingers to keep the fingers off the chest. Push down on the chest as hard as you can and aim to compress the chest effectively. Aim for 100 compressions per minute. Allow the chest to relax completely before the next compression. Do cycles of 30 compressions and two breaths. You can use a protective one-way valve mouthpiece to cover the victim's mouth to protect you from their secretions. Continue until the victim shows signs of life or the emergency staff arrives to take over. Good morning, good morning, emergency medical service. What are we dealing with? It's an unconscious victim. It's my third cycle of chest compressions. Um, I don't have patient history. All right, we'll take over from you. Thank you very much. So administer two breaths for us, please. You found the patient here unresponsive and immediately started CPR. I, that's correct. I found him unresponsive, starts with, uh, with airway breathing and circulation, and that was my third cycle. AED, Automated External Defibrillation. Start CPR right away and use an AED within a few minutes. You will have the best chance of saving the life of someone whose heart has stopped. Always follow voice promptly. Switch on AED and follow voice instruction. Apply pads to patient's bare chest. Place pads on victim's bare chest, upper part of the right side of the chest, below left nipple. Plug in pads connector next to flashing light. Stand clear of patient while machine is analyzing rhythm. Analyzing heart rhythm. Do not touch the patient. I'm clear, you're clear, everybody's clear. Press shock button if shock is indicated. Shock advised. Press the orange button now. Shock delivered. 
immediately continue with chest compressions. Keep pads on chest while doing compressions. After shock was delivered, continue with CPR at 30 compressions and two breaths until ambulance staff arrives and tells you to stop or the victim shows signs of life. CPR, cardiopulmonary resuscitation, child. Learn how to recognize cardiac arrest. Learn how to call for help once you discover a victim is in cardiac arrest. Learn how to open the airway and give rescue breaths. Learn how to do adequate chest compressions. Learn how to relieve an airway obstruction. Cardiac arrest is when the heart stops pumping blood. Victims of cardiac arrest need immediate CPR. Hazard. Make sure the scene is safe for you and the victim. Make sure the victim is lying on his or her back on a hard surface. Hello. Check for response. Hello. Moving, breathing, coughing. Is the victim asleep, unconscious or no signs of life? If no response, signs of life, the victim is unconscious. Is the victim breathing properly like you? Is the chest or stomach moving? If not, then proper breathing is absent. Airway. Open the airway by tilting the victim's head back using one hand on the forehead. Lift the chin by putting your fingers on the bony part of the chin. Lift the chin to move the jaw forward. Look, listen and feel for breathing by putting your ear as close as possible to the victim's mouth and nose. Look, is the chest rising? Listen, remember gasping is not breathing. Feel, airflow against your cheek. Breathing. If no normal breathing, pinch the nose closed and give two breaths into the victim's mouth. Make sure that you see the chest rise. Remove clothes from chest that will interfere with pushing on the chest. Circulation. Ensure the victim is lying on his or her back on a hard surface. Position yourself properly on your knees next to the victim's chest. To push, you can use one hand, depending on the size of the child and the size of your hands. Or two, hand technique as with adults. Place the heel of your dominant strong hand on the center of the sternum in the center of the chest between the nipples. Place the heel of the other hand on top of the first so that the hands overlap and are parallel. Straighten the arms with shoulders directly above the victim's chest and keep elbows straight. Push down on the chest as hard as you can. Push down as fast as comfortably possible. Almost two per second. Aim for a hundred per minute. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Allow the chest to relax completely before the next compression. Do cycles of thirty compressions and two breaths. Continue until the victim shows signs of life, moves, or an ambulance crew arrives to take over. If the rescuer is alone, do two minutes or five cycles of CPR before calling for help. Call for help. Call 999. Give the following information. Victim is unresponsive. CPR is in progress. Your name and surname. Your exact location and telephone number. Good morning, good morning. Emergency medical services, what are we dealing with? I have an unconscious child, I just found it. Um, I've done three cycles of CPR. This is my fourth now, and there is now set of compressions. Thank you very much. We'll take over from here. Thank you. Were you the first rescue on the I'm scene? The first rescue, I don't know what happened. I just saw the child, child unconscious. CPR, cardiopulmonary resuscitation, child. Circulation, ensure the victim is lying on his or her back on a hard surface. Position yourself properly on your knees next to the victim's chest. To push, you can use one hand depending on the size of the child and the size of your hands. 
place the heel of your dominant strong hand on the center of the sternum in the center of the chest between the nipples. Straighten the arms with shoulders directly above the victim's chest and keep elbows straight. Push down on the chest as hard as you can. Push down as fast as comfortably possible, almost two per second. Aim for a hundred per minute. Continue until the victim shows signs of life or the emergency staff arrives to take over. CPR, cardiopulmonary resuscitation, baby. Learn how to call for help once you discover a victim is in cardiac arrest. Learn how to open airway and give rescue breaths. Learn how to do adequate chest compressions. Learn how to relieve an airway obstruction. Cardiac arrest is when the heart stops pumping blood. Rescue breathing and chest compressions are the most important aspects of CPR in a baby. Doing this, you pump blood to the brain and the heart. Hazard. Ensure the scene is safe before you start with CPR. Hello. Check for response. Open the airway by tilting the victim's head back using one hand on the forehead. Look, listen and feel for breathing by putting your ear as close as possible to the victim's mouth and nose. Breathing. If no normal breathing, give two breaths by placing your mouth over the baby's mouth and nose. Make sure that you see the chest rise. Circulation. To push, use two fingers instead of the hand, just below the inner nipple line. Two breaths, then 30 compressions. Continue with compressions and mouth to mouth and nose, or the baby shows signs of life. If the rescuer is alone, do two minutes of CPR before you stop to call for help. Call for help. Call 999. Give the following information. Victim is unresponsive. CPR is in progress. Your name and surname. Your exact location and telephone number. So, good morning, emergency medical services. What are we dealing with? Hi, I found this baby with a bag over his head. Uh, he didn't breathe. I started with um, the breathing and chest compressions. This is now my fourth cycle. All right, good, thank you. We'll take over from here. Just give us two breaths. Thank you. Was there anything else apart from that? Any? It was an electrical cord laying around, but I think the, the bag was over his, his head. So and we, he couldn't breathe. Yeah. You're probably dealing with a hypoxic arrest. Yeah. Airway obstruction. Child, ask the victim if he or she is choking. Are you choking? If victim nods yes and cannot speak, stand or kneel behind the victim and wrap your arms around the person's waist. Make a fist with one hand. Place the thumb side of your fist against the victim's abdomen, midline, above the navel. Grasp your fist with your other hand and press into the person's abdomen with a quick upward thrust. Repeat until object is expelled or until victim becomes unconscious. Call for help and start with CPR. Airway obstruction. Ask the victim if he or she is choking. Are you choking, ma'am? If victim nods yes and cannot speak, stand or kneel behind the victim and wrap your arms around the person's waist. Make a fist with one hand. Place the thumb side of your fist against the victim. Grasp your fist with your other hand and press into the person's abdomen with a quick upward thrust. Repeat until object is expelled or until victim becomes unconscious. Call for help and start with CPR. Airway obstruction. Cannot breathe, has noisy breathing. Unable to speak. 
cannot cough, coughs with no sound. Lips and skin are bluish. Universal distress signal. Ask the victim if he or she is choking. If victim nods yes and cannot speak, stand or kneel behind the victim and wrap your arms around the person's waist. Make a fist with one hand. Place the thumb side of your fist against the victim's abdomen, midline, above the navel. Grasp your fist with your other hand and press into the person's abdomen with a quick upward thrust. Repeat until object is expelled or until victim becomes unconscious. Call for help and start with CPR. Airway obstruction. Baby, less than one year. Responsive and can cough. Makes sounds between coughs. Cannot breathe. Has noisy breathing. Unable to cry. Cry without noise. Cannot cough. Lips and skin are bluish. Kneel with the infant on your lap. Hold infant face down with head slightly lower than chest. Support head and jaw with your hand. Rest forearm on your thigh to support infant. Deliver five forceful back slaps between the infant's shoulders in the middle of the back. Use the heel of your hand. Place your free hand on the infant's back, supporting the back of the infant's head with the palm of your hand. The other hand supports the face and jaw of the infant. Turn the infant as a unit and hold him or her on the back with your forearm resting on your thigh. Hold infant's head lower than trunk. Look into the baby's mouth. If you can see anything, remove it. Do not do a blind finger sweep. Do five quick upward chest thrusts, same place as chest compressions. Repeat five back slaps and five chest thrusts until object is removed or infant becomes unresponsive. Start with CPR.